Well, hey, Randy here uh, with Grace Point Fellowship with another five minutes of hope for you. So let me ask you a question. Have you noticed if anybody around you, maybe at stores, seems a little bit out of control? I'm just asking. Oh, well, let me ask it a different way. Um, have you noticed if anybody around you seems a little bit, maybe like out of control? Uh, hey, let me just make it a little more personal. Can we get honest? Haven't there been moments within the last few weeks where we feel like things are out of control? What happens when we feel like things are out of control is we typically get frustrated. And then what happens is we end up taking it out a lot of times on the people that we love the most. I mean, these gifts that are sitting alongside of you, that you're huddling at home with, those are people that God wants you to touch their hearts and God wants you to encourage them. And so if we're not careful, we can let this sense of out of control frustrate us to the point where there, cre there creates a rift between us and the gift that God has given to us. So I want to just remind you of three practical things you can do when you feel like life is out of control. And the first thing that you can do is you can look up. Okay, what I mean by that is look up into the sky and think about creation. If you go out at night and look up at those stars, you know, Psalm 33, verses 6 to 9, they, they tell us that God actually breathed into existence the universe. That's just how powerful he, get, he is. It's like, like in the vapor of his breath, you know, he said, let it be. And he created in, in six days. And, and everything we look at now in space is spinning and orbiting because of his commands and because of his power and his control. In fact, uh, I was just reminded the other day that the sun, you know, our star, is 92 million miles away from our planet Earth. And if it was a little bit closer, then everything that we know of living would burn up. If the sun was a little further, then everything would freeze up. But God has strategically placed it right where it is to sustain life and so to help life thrive. And so, you know, looking up can remind you uh, of God's immensity and God's power. Uh, also, did you know that 1.3 million Earths can fit inside of our sun? I mean, our sun is a big star. Of course, there's much bigger stars. But when you think about that, our, our Earth is just a speck of sand next to the sun. Man, God is so big and he's so great and he's so good. And even in the face of this crazy COVID-19, God is good and he's great and he's in control. So look up, okay? The next thing you can do is you can look down and you, you go from looking at the large to looking at the small. And we're reminded when we look at the small of like just how God is involved in the details of everyday life. Um, actually, I've been uh, kind of watching off and on through Facebook, uh, this live feed of this eagle in Big Bear. It's actually a, a mama eagle and a papa eagle, and there used to be a little baby eagle, and I don't know what happened to that. I hope it flew away to its freedom. I, I hope it didn't get eaten, but but anyway, you can go and you can see this Big Bear eagle live cam, and there's just something soothing about watching this, and I think it's because I'm reminded that God's in the details, uh, that if God would provide for this eagle at the top of this pine tree and give it the ability to rearrange its nest so that it can, can live that God certainly is in control of, of my life. Um, in fact, uh, we're reminded of Mark 10 in Jesus's words um, that he tells us that there's not one sparrow that falls to the ground. You know, it's not a bird that flies through the ground that your father in heaven does not know. And he says, if he cares that much about the sparrows, imagine how much more he cares about you. You know, he, he created you. You're made in his image and believers are his children. So cares about you. He's got a plan for you. And, and I see God in the big. I see God in the small. Uh, the other day I took a strand of hair off my jacket. It was super long, so I knew it wasn't mine. <laughs> it was my wife's. And I just just took a minute to look at it and think about that in that one strand of hair, uh, all of her DNA is right there. I mean, that's how detailed, how, how complex God has made us. And, and God is in the details. So he's in the details of what's going on with this COVID-19 and there will come a deliverance day. So look up, look down, and then I want you to look around, okay? Look around because there is something in your life right now that you can control. You can't control the spread of this virus. Uh, you can to a point. I mean, you gotta wash your hands, use your pure rail. Like we do our part and we should do that. But in the scheme of things, I mean, we, we can't control a lot of this stuff. And so it can be very, very frightening for us. But there are things that you can control, like 
you know, you can go and help somebody. Look around and find somebody that you can you can bless. Reach out to them through the internet. Reach out to them through a phone call. Encourage them. Bless them. Uh, maybe you're um, looking around. Remind you, there's a project around the house that you can take on, and you'll have a sense of completion if you do it. Like we just finished painting the entryway of our house, and there was just a, a moment to stand back and say, "Oh, I can control something," and it looks so much better. And uh, Maybe uh, my son, he's learning the guitar. Uh, we've got people in our church who are, are taking control by helping others, uh, like giving blood. And we got another a couple ladies who are sewing together surgical masks to help uh, doctors and nurses who are in need. And, and that's just, just awesome, isn't it? But there's something that you should look around, at something small, a project, a person that you can help, that you can uh, have some sense of control. So look up. Okay, look down at the details and remember God's in the details. And then look around. Be an extension of His grace and His goodness during this time. And, uh, and you'll find that God gives you a sense of calm in the midst of this chaos. And you'll be reminded that even when you feel out of control, God's in control. Okay, so that's my five minutes of hope. I hope that's helpful to you. God bless you. And I'll be posting again shortly in the future within the next few days. We're praying for you and God loves you. And you hang in there. Hold on to the hope that there is of heaven. Uh, God's got this and God's got you.